cleaning but I cleaned up a little bit because I did not want to show you guys how my room looked before it was a mess but I just came home and I was like you know what I'm gonna get it together I'm gonna reset and I'm just gonna get everything together because I am a high school student so all throughout the week I'm just worried about getting my school work turned in and resting and doing it all over again so throughout the week I'm just occupied with school but on the weekends I'm actually able to sit and reset basically clean up and just you know refresh which is why i washed my hair today so i haven't like this little bun thing but it just feels good to take the weekend to reset chill and just get things done but i'm just going to be vlogging for you guys this is a chill realistic weekend in my life i'm not doing anything i don't have any plans but i'm just gonna be in the house chilling and if some plans pop up they pop up if they don't they don't um so yeah it's realistic my bed is the only thing that's messed up. Like, it has a whole bunch of stuff on top of it. And I cleaned up my bathroom as well. I just organized everything and put it under the sink. And then I still have to wipe off counters and things like that. And other than that, that's it for my Friday night. But, yeah, that's literally it. I'm just being realistic. I'm chilling. I don't have anything to do. So, that's that. I'm currently wearing this jacket. Don't ask why I'm wearing it if I'm inside. I have on these jaggy pants and I have on some slippers with some socks because I was cleaning so I didn't feel the need to like do the most and put on a whole entire outfit for no reason even though I'm gonna go to bed and take it right off so I'm just gonna show you guys what's going on out there it's kind of crazy don't judge me because if y'all would have seen how it looked before y'all would have been like girl you need help but I'm just gonna show you guys and we're gonna get it together I'm gonna do like a little time lapse of me cleaning up i'm really proud of myself because y'all i'm actually talking to the camera like it gives me so much anxiety sometimes so it's like i don't really know what to say or i feel like anxious about it but i'm learning that if you continue to do something that you're afraid of eventually it won't bother you and you'll be okay um i'm really proud of myself so yeah so i'm gonna be good at doing outros intros and everything because i actually want to talk to you guys i feel like it's better like it makes or breaks your video like just calm down and film an intro. Like, why are you having anxiety about filming an intro for day? Just film it. It's okay. But I'm about to show you guys right now what it looks like out there. And I will do the time lapse. It doesn't look as bad. I just have towels to cover. Just simple stuff. I have tissue because I have to restock up in my bathroom. I have like my speaker over there and things like that the same stuff is over here it's nothing major i do have some car mats that i want to show you guys but i'm going to show you guys that once i'm done cleaning so yeah i'm just going to do a little quick montage of me cleaning this up it's not much but it's something but it looks way better like my floors are good and i do have to mop still so i'm going to sweep and then i'm going to mop everything just to get my room together i think i want to put my mirror in one of these corners i think this one but i'm not sure I like that it's in this corner, but I don't know. Because I have to walk all the way over there just to look in the mirror. But if it's right here, I feel like that's a good spot. I don't know. I wish I could ask y'all and y'all be like, yeah, Renee, you do like that. But I can't really ask y'all. And then I'm going to show you guys the bathroom. It's nothing major. I just have some napkins, the necklace, the candle. I have my stuff right here. And then this toothpaste, that. And then under here, it's really nothing major. Like... It's just all organized because I cleaned it up and that's all like it's not as bad as it was before so I just took like 30 minutes to clean it up but I'm going to go ahead and do a montage of me cleaning everything and then we will talk once I get done.
here's my bathroom. Everything's nice and clean. My floors are finally done drying. Everything over here is just for organization. And of course, I told you guys I would show you guys the car mats, but I'm probably going to do that tomorrow. I'm still trying to decide if I want to move this mirror over here in this corner because I have a whole lot of space in my room now. If you guys are ever wondering why I never showed you guys this corner in my previous vlogs, it's just because I couldn't. I had a big old box spring in the corner, so I would only show these parts of the room. But it looks really nice. It smells really good. I'm really happy. I'm glad I was being productive and I didn't just lay around and do nothing. So I'm probably just going to chill for the rest of the night and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. <laughs> ponytail on my sister and i just wanted to show you guys the process because this is a weekend in my life i don't see myself doing hair in the future as a career so please don't ask but i do find enjoyment in it a little bit but i just want to make a career out of it and i do really good but i just don't see myself doing hair as a career but i'm gonna go in her room and do her hair i'm just doing a regular ponytail straight back nothing major i do want to venture off and get into doing quick weaves but that's just something i want to practice with because my sister really wants a quick weave but I don't really know how to do one, but I feel like it's a process. All you have to do is watch a couple of videos and then you got it. So I've just been watching videos on doing that. So maybe in one of these videos, I will be able to do a quick weave on her and I'll show you guys the process. But for now, I'm sticking with ponytails. I do my own ponytails. I do her ponytails. I haven't got the chance to do any of my friend's ponytails, but that's okay because I can still practice on myself or practice on my sister, whatever she wants one. So that's that but i got up i washed my hair i did not wash my hair i did my hair and i cleaned up a little bit i washed the dishes and that was it so that's just been my morning i didn't feel like talking earlier so i was just like you know what i'm just gonna record i'm just not gonna talk so i'm talking to you guys now explaining like what's been going on but i will talk to you guys whenever i go in her room i'm just gonna do like a little time lapse or talk like in between clips because i do want to show you guys the process i might not show like products and stuff because this isn't like a tutorial but it's like just watch, visually learn, and then you will see. So I will see you guys when I get in her room. I got hair glue all over this jacket, so can we please not mind it and like we don't see it? Cause I said it's so slick. She told me so slick but went lumps. Baby, it's not done yet, but it can stay like this if you wanted to. Like what? And is she taking pictures? Like, do she want her head to stay like this or what? Cause I'm doing it. It's just she's on some slick but went lumps. Um, baby, I'm not done yet. So hold on and trust the process.
39 and we're halfway through. Look at this girl right here. Show me your hair. I whip my hair back and forth. No, me, I'm Hey guys, it's Monday and I just came over here to give you guys an outro. If y'all see me in a dark room and y'all can tell I just look a mess, then just know it's the end of the video. The video is not as long as I want it to be, which I hate. I don't know why it's so short, but I assumed that it was because I didn't record Sunday. But the thing was, if I were to have recorded Sunday, y'all would have been bored. Like, why is this girl still in the bed? Why has she not gotten up and did anything? Like, I was literally just sitting in the bed. But Sundays are usually, like, my chill days. I don't really do anything but lay around and, you know, recollect myself and get myself ready for the week and just spend time with myself. But I am sick. I'm not going to say I'm sick. I'm going to say I'm getting sick. It's been really cold and everything like that. And I've just, I don't feel that my throat or it's chest hurt. My body just hurts. And I just want to lay down. But I'm going to still upload the video for you guys. I tend to not want to upload videos that aren't that long. Um, if I can't find another way to make it longer. And I know length is not everything. But I do want you guys to get at least a 20 minute video out of me. Not like, oh, 15 minutes this and that. So I do try to, you know, add whatever I can. But I'm not going to be able to add anything. But I know another thing was the video would have been longer if I wouldn't have sped up so many clips. But I sped them up because I didn't want you guys to get bored. Because I know a lot of people watch clips of the same thing and they get bored and stuff. And I don't want you guys to get bored. But I'm going to work on continuing to make my videos longer. It's just a struggle for me because I really... It's like a every once in a while type of thing. Like my last video was 30 minutes long and I didn't do that intentionally at all. So I think it's when you don't intentionally do it, that's when it happens. But I was not like, oh, I gotta make a third. No, it was just 30 minutes. Even with the clips that I cut, 30 minutes. But I'm going to strive to do more, kind of, and add more to my videos. So look forward to having more longer videos because I know, you know, 15 minutes, whatever, um, isn't the best. But I do try my best to add what I can and do whatever and the reason why it's probably so short is because I didn't you know leave the clips as they were but I might go back and edit it and tweak a few things um I just wanted to come on here and explain that to you guys and on my end I know that's probably wrong that I didn't upload Sunday it's a weekend in my life but I don't want to record if I didn't do anything and I know a lot of people that tend to not record one day or start a week in my life on Tuesday you know because certain things happen it's life and I showed you guys most of the stuff I did over the weekend and Sunday. It was just a regular Sunday and I didn't do anything. So I just want to come on here and tell you guys that explain it. Because I know I am getting better with explaining what's going on in the video. So I'm proud of myself for that. It's just that I'm trying to get into the, okay, Brene, record more. And don't think people are just going to get bored with seeing the same thing. Because some people like to see certain stuff and I just feel like, oh, let me not make this too long because people might not like it. Um, so I'm going to work on that. But of course, my last few videos have been great. All my videos have been great. Um, I'm really proud of myself for continuing to be consistent. Always working and working and working. Always planning out something. Always, you know, reaching new goals, reaching new milestones. And even in situations where I don't feel the best I'm still getting up and I'm still doing what I have to do because I go to school Monday through Friday 
even on the days where I'm not feeling the best, okay, I might miss a day or two, but for the most part, I'm always at school. I'm doing what I gotta do. I'm in videos 24 seven. I'm freaking editing in class. Whenever I got free time, I do my work. I'm editing after that. Like it's like when you have a passion or a drive to do something, you are not gonna give up on it. Like you're gonna continue doing it and fighting through. But I'm really proud of myself. And I feel like as long as you're proud of yourself, nobody can tell you anything. I'm proud of myself, y'all. I feel like I'm gonna pass off because, <laughs> cause I'm talking so fast. But no, I'm really proud of myself because I get up and I do this on my own. Thumbnails on my own. My intro that y'all see on my own. Like everything is on my own. Everything I want for my channel on my own. Like I'm grateful for my mom because without her, my channel would not be as good as it is because she's the reason I have my camera. If it was not for her, nobody else would have bought me a camera. I promise you. Like, there's nobody else in my life that really cared that much to buy me a camera. I would have to literally continue to, oh, can I get a camera? Can I get this? And it would have been years from now. But my mama saw this passion in me and she supported my dream the best way she could. And she knew, okay, if I can get her a camera and I could send her off. And when I tell you, like, the camera, I love my camera so much. And that's why I feel so, like, I love my camera. I protect my camera because it's like... She gave me that. Like, she literally gave me that. And she saw something in me. She was just like, wow. Like, you know? So, it's like she, she's like that with everybody. All her kids. If she sees that we have a passion for something, she knows she could support it in a, even a small way. She's always going to put her best foot forward to try for her kids. And I appreciate her for that. So, Mom, when you watch this, thank you. Because without, without you, my channel would not be as good. Everybody's always saying, oh, the quality. I love this about your camera. Oh, my gosh, it's so nice. And I'm like, yeah, y'all, my mama got me this. Like, and every time I tell somebody, they're like, oh my gosh, like, dang, like, you know, because I'm like, yeah, she does support my dream. And she watches all my videos in her free time. Like, she's cooking, cleaning. Oh, now I've seen your video. And it's like, I like to see that in my family because it's like, it's good to have friends support and people that you know support. But it's like from family to see people supporting your dream. And everybody knows, man, you know, she's she been doing YouTube since, you know, she was little. And y'all, at elementary school, I used to have this little tablet. I used to make little skits, but I didn't know how to edit or anything. So I would literally take paper and draw the title of my video on the piece of paper. And I would just make little background noise myself. Like, I would be in the back. Y'all, I gotta show y'all, y'all. And one of my vlogs, I need to show y'all that. Like, I have to go on my google photos or whatever and i have to bro because it's so funny but it's like to see that it's like wow like you didn't even know because it's like i didn't know what i was doing but i knew that people did youtube i was just like i don't know i don't know like the details of it but i've been talking for six minutes um i know y'all probably tired of me talking i'm sorry yeah, I just get so passionate about this stuff. Like, I'm really proud of myself. I've came a long way. It's a lot that has happened. It's a lot that I've been through. And not to sound like, oh, oh sentimental and all this other stuff. No, it's just to show that even with you going through so much stuff behind closed doors, you can still come out on top. It just takes time. So it's like, when I came back, I didn't want to come back acting like nothing ever happened. No, I wanted to come back with a bang. I wanted to come back with, okay, I'm consistent. I want to show up. I want to show up. I don't want to sit here and make excuses. Oh, I'm in school. I'm doing this. Or I'm struggling with this or this and that. No. People who make excuses, they never get anything done because you're always making an excuse for yourself. Get it done. I go to school Monday through Friday. I'm about to graduate. Like, I get this stuff done. School work, everything. You have to stay on top of your stuff. But the thing is... Schoolwork might not be the funnest thing on earth, but YouTube is my escape. Not escape so much, but it's like a, it's something that I can get like a breather with. Like when I'm recording, I'm in my own little world and I feel good. I don't feel the need to feel so pressured. Oh, deadline, deadline. No, I enjoy that. I enjoy giving myself a deadline. Okay, but I need to upload this video by Monday, by Sunday, by this. You haven't uploaded in four days. Okay, let's start thinking of a plan. Let's start thinking of like what we can do. So that's, you know, that's the mindset I have. And it's like people who have that mindset, that's why they're able to be consistent and get things done. And just, I don't know. I'm just really proud of myself. And I, I'm i really grateful for everybody that has ever supported me, that comments. I really love reading you guys' comments or on Instagram. You know, you guys will slide up and say something. And it really just warms my heart 
because I can't thank you enough. Because people don't understand how a little support can just help me out. And it's like, it's so funny because I'm talking in the dark. Like, I don't want you guys to have to look in the dark. Well, y'all, y'all don't want to see me. But I'm probably just going to put some, I don't want to put nothing on top. Like, I don't want to put nothing on top here, but maybe y'all would be okay with that. I'm going to put like a pink screen on top of this so y'all can have something cute to look at while I'm talking. But this is a long clip. It's nine minutes long. I'm going to put a disclaimer before I get into that. If y'all don't want to hear me talk for nine minutes, ten minutes basically, then don't watch. Because it's literally just me talking. But I just want to thank you guys for supporting me. And it's only up from here. We're literally growing every single day. And I'm just, I don't know, I'm just blown away. Like, I don't, I don't know how, like, I came this far. Like, it's crazy, but I appreciate all of you guys. I really have a drive, a passion, a love for this YouTube stuff. Like, it's really a love, like a genuine love for it. And I don't do this for anybody else but myself. I enjoy doing this. I enjoy getting up and thinking of what the video, like, y'all, y'all don't understand Every time I upload a video, I'm already thinking about the next one. Okay, what am I about to do? Maybe I can go out. Oh, I'm going out with my friends. Let me bring my camera. And my friends are so supportive. Like, my friends are all supportive of my channel. Like, it's some friends who support it more than others because they just, you know, they just do a little extra. But it's like all support is support. It doesn't matter. But you know how you just have those friends that's just like, yes, Brene. Like, they're watching every video commenting they're always you know supporting you and it's like even if you just subscribe i appreciate you even if you just commented one time i appreciate you even if you just like something i appreciate you but it's like you know those people that go the extra mile to show their support for you it's like wow like you really you know and i have close friends that are always just pushing me to be the best person that i can be and i appreciate them from the bottom of my heart because without them i would be nothing but i've been talking for 11 minutes and I'm going to go ahead and make this outro. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.